What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully excite, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new, healthy, positive, and uh, hopefully loving level, right? Fun. We want to bring you guys to the ultimate apex of your relationship. So we always bring you guys some great tips or tricks that maybe we've utilized in our past or will utilize in the future or some of the different things that we have seen with uh, friends, family, and other people out and about um, you know, that has made their relationship successful or maybe unsuccessful, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And learning from those mistakes and trials and tribulations to hopefully, you know, to progress on to a more successful relationship. So at this point, this week is going to be a, a pretty good topic. Um, you know, with everything going on out there, you know, me and Sharice have been on the dating scene for 15 years each Thank because, God. you know, we've been married for this amount of time and, yeah. you know, John, the kid. John, the dating scene forever. So... <laughs> Ladies, get that straight so, out there. It's me or he's dead. Uh oh, so. uh, you, you heard it first. You don't see me. I, you know, Whoa, I'll be. It's on recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I obviously talked to a lot of my friends that are still dating right now, or you know, going through this vicious cycle of dating is what I call it, mm -hmm. because at that point, you know, it's basically a lot of people, especially since the pandemic happened, um, people are using apps more than ever. They're swiping left, swiping right, hitting hot, not, whatever it is. <laughs> Weird. <Sorry. laughs> and, uh, you know, whether it's Tinder, Grinder, all these other different apps out Wonder. there. Whether it's just a, a hookup app where, like, you know, these people are just hooking up. There's no dating anymore. So weird. Um, or they're on Match.com or whatever it may be, those match sites. And uh, they're going on, you know, they're serial dating. There's a lot of people that serial date, I guess. It's called serial dating. Yeah. It's because they're going through a whole bunch of different people randomly. And they don't re they really don't care. They don't have anything they're really, really looking for. Yeah. And then you have some people that are looking for certain things, right? And maybe they're serial dating because they're trying to find what they're looking for, you know? And sometimes that can be good and, I guess, bad because, you know, you're going through a whole bunch of different people. And and mm -hmm. some people might not conform to exactly what you want in every specification, mm -hmm. right? Nobody's perfect out there, but you might find your ultimate perfect white knight too. So it really, you know, I guess it really depends. Really just depends. But uh, in all this, you know, you're eventually, hopefully going to get in a relationship and what's going to come with that relationship? Well, hopefully you're going to get good a, good, stuff. <laughs> a good companion, a good partner, right? And you're going to find love. That's what everybody's looking everybody's for. Everybody's looking for love. Everybody needs love. Yeah. Okay? You're a guy, you're a girl, you need love. You're you a dog, a cat. A dog, a cat, a yeah. pet, right? Anything, Anything like that. Anything. You need love. Yep. And, um, you know, love nurtures. And love helps people grow into bigger and better things, per se, right? Whether it's your mom, which loved you and nurtured you and maybe breastfed you and you grow into a strong, fine individual. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> or you know or your partner loves you and you know you bloom and, and progress that way too as well but the thing i see a lot of is a lot of people throwing a, that word around a lot that's a sensitive word it's man you can't just easy. throw that out there yes you gotta really i mean the, the more loosely you throw it the less meaning it truly has right. to the word value yes right it's like inflation times a hundred it's not worth anything yeah and it's one thing to say i love you like okay cool but, but if i say i love you yeah that's a whole Big difference. different I, ball I, I told john that a long time ago because you, you can you know like you can like things past like and so you love it right i love this right but you're not in love with it right yeah or you could love someone and not be in love with them. this is true this is true that's see, a I, true statement see i love a lot of people but i'm not in love with them i'm only in love with her yeah he's right? not gonna be in love i love with some of my anyone. friends yeah uh, you know he's yeah. not gonna be in love with them either i don't love dirty i, I love some of my people he loves them as people yeah as people yeah. as people so you know at that point uh you know that's where all my love goes to her and my son and you know my family so with that, being in love with somebody should not be thrown around lightly because this means different things for different people, right? Some people is the ultimate word. It says, I love you, right? It takes a little bit out of them to say it. <laughs> um, and that's how it should be because it's it should be an important word that you just don't say to everybody around you or you're just not telling every single girl or guy that you're dating. Right. Um, so at that point, where or who falls in love faster? <laughs> is it guys 
or is it girls? I thought for sure it was girls. Yeah, so what do you think, right? Think to yourself and then say it out loud, right? And then let's really talk about who it is. Now, uh -huh. I would think it's going to be girls. Yeah, me too. I did think that until John pulled up the statistics. Oh, so most girls are more, more usually emotional. Now, guys, if you have high estrogen levels, you're taking soy and all this, <laughs> you might be really sensitive and emotional. Yeah, you might be loving everything too. So, <laughs> So at that point, you know, you really got to you really got to look at things and say, all right, well, who really does this? So when we were looking up the research on this, uh, the fact is researchers found that men thought about confessing love six weeks earlier on an average than women. The general consensus among studies on love is that men fall in love faster than women. This is a, this is researched in a fact. Look at that. So, how you know, would you, how would I, isn't that crazy? I don't know why that is, you know, because, no, I, I don't know. I mean. I, I guess it really is a case-by-case -case scenario because some relationships are one-sided, you know, and that's how they go, and then they might flip. But, you know, usually it's a guy that's um, courting a girl. Now, nowadays it's different, I guess, because mm -hmm. girls are courting guys. Whole and whole dating so nowadays. It's not the, you know, the old-school way of thinking about things or dating, but I, I guess it could be it's a new age, so I guess, you know, guys can love or want to say they're in love with a girl faster than the girls are going to say to them. Um, I don't know. Is it is it because guys usually do say it first, or do girls usually say it first? Mm. Obviously, you know, guys are thinking about it way quicker, so maybe they're know. saying it first all the time. I don't know. I know John said it first to me. Do you remember when that was? Yeah, she wouldn't say it back to me the first time. Because it's the statement. point exactly is it's that you're statement. not supposed to just throw that word around. And he caught me off guard, and I was mad at the time. Oh. It was a bad time to say it. Listen to that. Hear all these excuses coming out of here? <laughs> yeah, right. Here's a little like, uh, violin. A little just, violin uh, we're playing a tune for you. <laughs> I was like, he's just saying that to say it. See? See? <laughs> I was in this damn well, study. Oh, you know? yeah. He was in study. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's kind of crazy because when you start looking at some of the different studies they did, you know, men under 35, some of them confess within a week. That's crazy. Now, that's a little fast. Yeah, that's a little fast. That is a little fast. Yeah. You, know, you know, a week, you're really starting to get to just know the person, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you know, that's emotionally, you know, physically, you want to, you know, know who they are. And you go through that for a little bit. And then, you know, when you start learning more about people or starting spending time with this person, then that's where more of the connection starts, right? The connection starts maybe in the beginning, and then you work on that connection. Like, you know, your likes, your hobbies, or my likes, maybe hobbies. Or well, there's a big difference, We do too. new experiences together. Big difference between love and infatuation, right? Because you might meet somebody, and you are, like, completely infatuated with them, right? Because they're so pretty. Or, like, you know, all the cool things you see at the very exterior of the shell, so you start peeling layers off the shell, and then you're like, Okay, this layer is good. This layer is good. This is bad. This is bad. This is good. This is this is okay. I, I'm not going to do this. This one's great. So there's layers that you start peeling off of a person per se. And this is real life. I'm just giving it to you in this very raw scenario <laughs> of peeling people back. But, you know, there's a big difference between really infatuation and loving someone for for them and then actually being in love now does anybody out there or do you ever ask yourself like how do you know or like what do you what tells you when you're in love mm -hmm. like are you able to answer that question for yourself like even the married couples out there i'm sure there's there's a lot of you guys that mm -hmm. watch it you know do you guys know when you are in love like what what happens when you're in love like what is it exactly that takes place? Well, I mean, I, I could say what I could say what I think it is because of what I feel, but everybody out there is different, right? But I mean, how do you know when you're really like in love? It's mm, a good question, right? Yeah, it's definitely a good question. Yep. I mean, I was. So that's fine. Well, how did you know? Um, you know, because I, I I didn't want to be with anybody else. I didn't really want to go out and do anything else. I mean, that was my, my first thing about it, you know. I, I was, obviously, me and Sharice are pretty close to the way we think about things and what we do, so that mm -hmm. was, that's a plus too, right? Because other people, opposites attract and all this stuff, and yeah. you might have anything in common with them to a certain degree. Like, 
you know, if I like sports and some girls out there don't like sports, then obviously that's right there. It's like, all right, well, I'm going to be doing sports by myself or, you know, going to a game by myself or maybe so, might be bringing them, but they might not be enjoying it. So uh, there, there's different things, right? That's just one example. You might so, get the butterflies. Butterflies are a good way to tell. The butterflies, yeah. The you, butterfly roller coaster effect. You, know, you, you are away from them the small amount of time. You want to be by them. You, you miss them a You're lot. You're missing you know, them. That, that's a big one. Be um, thinking about them when they're not around. Yeah, and then you know, thinking about your future and visualizing that too. Possibly, you know, can you see yourself with this person uh, in, in the older years? And you know, do you think it's going to be a viable relationship? That's going to be a positive relationship for you guys? Is there toxic things that are coming up that are not coming up? You guys got to see this and and and, and look at that too. You as know, well. when you really know is when you start do peeling when you do peel back those layers and you come across layers that you may not like. This is true. And then you just accept it because you love them. This is true. So make sure you guys are getting to know your partner before you say, I love you. Don't just throw that word around. Yeah. Okay. Don't do That's it. the main point of this. Uh, <laughs> and know when you're in love, right? And don't steer away from it. Some people yeah, might find love, love and they get scared of it and they push it away. Forever. So at that point, you know, just know it, recognize it and embrace it if it is there. And hopefully your partner will reciprocate and embrace it with you. Yep. So that's just another Cupid's Corner from us to you guys and some great tips and tricks for you guys. I think this information is great for anybody out there, whether you're in a relationship, not in a relationship, you guys can utilize this. And uh, that's it. So make sure you guys are tuning in every Sunday to Cupid's Corner here on ABC at 11 a.m. If you guys didn't DVR it, don't worry. Just head all over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center. You'll get to see all the great Cupid's Corner content and a lot more cool stuff from Type Medical Center and from me and Sharice. And uh, we love you guys, and we'll see you guys next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner here on ABC at 11 a.m. See you then.